Hi uh, folks, this is your buddy Alpha, we're going to be playing a bit of something different actually from what I'm used to. Um, we've taken out my comfort zone and we're going to play some Splinter Cell Conviction. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. I got my can of Pepsi with me as well. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, <clears> looking <throat> for a reason to go on living. Eventually he found it. Eventually? He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city all right. called the Letter. It's in Malta. For tomorrow? Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Okay. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. Someone else look up. Well, trying to. Come on, Sam. It's starting to attract Ooh. attention. I see it. Didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Uh, control options, ever uh, access. There we go. Then I can take it back up to okay. safe altitude and you can get moving. Ooh. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position. And from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Go. <clears throat> it's like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Ah! Ah! I said get the fuck out! Fast! Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light of the way. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage. I'm there. Hang on. Tapping like into the city's power grid. That'll back. let me overload the transformers near Put you and blow on, out those huh? lights. You think of that? Yeah. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. 
But if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. You got no balls, man. Come on. Come on, show yourself, fuckface! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Nice job, Sam. Baby, don't look. Sam? Sam! What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? <clears throat> Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Who's paying the bill on this one? Coben. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this guy? I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Stand the doubt, shall we? for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? <clears throat> I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. Hmm. Go this way. Okay, enough. You wanna know who sent me? It's Coben. Andre Coben. <coughs> Runs trucks, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. <coughs> He's crazy. <coughs> he, he 
drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't... In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Hmm. What has he done, Sam? Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Colvin's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Colvin was in there. And then he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. Watch out. Smoker. I'm guessing this is where we're starting. Yep. Don't think. Guy, someone's fucking with us. Take him down before it's too late. Where the hell is he? You got no balls, man. If you did, you wouldn't be hiding. <laughs> Keep your head on a swivel. The dude's here somewhere. Come, buddy. Come to me. Come on, show yourself, fucker. Oh, I could have just used the light switch, it's right there. There's one guy there. I need a signal back, that's cool. Oh, no. 
So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? CIA, KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gig. Colbin cleaned them up. Colbin cleaned up they secret agents. Shit, I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. I mean, what so, the hell is he doing? He says me. It means this Fisher guy is on his way, I think. Who's gonna come looking for these guys? Big fucking guy. You think? He took out Grandos. And Grandos is fucking stupid. Oh, I don't know. I hear this Fisher guy is pretty... What the? I'm just saying. Would you shut up, both of you? I'm getting a feeling that Coven has been way over If he drowns, we drown with him. Oh, man, I liked you better when you were talking about the brains. Roger that. Okay. So we got it. Oh! Didn't you see me? So close. Now I'm, I'm thinking that's got better power. I think I'll equip that. Oh wait, no, it's ready to equip. Oh, okay. Bloody light switch. Jumpy that ass. Shit! I'll find you and I'll kill you, Fisher! You'll 
will be our new piece of art. That's it. What the fuck? Hey, but. <laughs> Let's uh, save some power, shall we? Silver grenades. Guys, too. I just don't like police. Right. What are you doing, Fisher? Admiring the paintings? <laughs> Fuck yeah. you! to the street. Think it's haunted. You happy? Are you sure? Cause it's like five hundred. Oh, shit! Sh Stupid question is that? Calm you get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? 
Yeah, boss. I said shut up! Easy there, boss. Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now! <laughs> I'm not hearing anything. Are you hearing anything? Shit! You, uh, Anton, go check it out. See what's going on behind that door. Ooh. Boss, I don't see anything. That's Coburn. He's heavily guarded, isn't he? Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. Mm. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. To the piano. Just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. To the bar. To the bar. They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! What the hell? Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down! I'll give you more be hurt! Sam, you need to you. go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in That's the air! It, Fisher. Nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We have secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... I'll be happy when we drop off so we can do here. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got it here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, 
I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting him up with Coburn's. That's why they tranked him and flew him back home. They uh. needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. Now, catch you next chapter.